Now, how do you configure and register your ClickShare device? Once you've connected your ClickShare base unit to the internet, your display, a power source, and your peripherals, it will boot up automatically. On screen, a set of instructions will appear. To run the configuration wizard, you'll have to connect to the base unit's Wi-Fi. This can be found in the network settings of your laptop. Use the default password ClickShare to connect and open your browser. Type this IP address into the search bar. Because the base unit configurator has a self-signed certificate, you'll see a warning in the browser. Don't worry, that's expected. Just continue to the wizard. Enter admin as username and password on the login screen. Step one is selecting how you want to update your base unit. We recommend leaving this on automatic. Now choose your language. Give the meeting room a name and set the time for your base unit. If you have multiple base units and would like to schedule your updates, we recommend setting up an NTP server. The next step is choosing the security level. You can always adjust this later. You'll be asked to change the password for the configurator. Next is the network setup. Choosing the right frequency and channel is important, especially if you've got multiple devices using the same Wi-Fi network. It's also helpful for your users to change the SSID to something recognizable, like the meeting room name. If you deselect Broadcast SSID, users won't be able to find the base unit in their network settings. The last step is registering for Smart Care. This can easily be done by copying the device token and clicking the link to XMS Cloud. There, you'll be asked to log in or create an account for your company. Then you can paste your device token. If you've got multiple base units to register, there's also the option to do this in bulk. Once your base unit is registered in XMS Cloud, don't forget to return to the wizard to finish the configuration. Now all you have to do is pair your buttons and you're all set.